In this video, we will learn how to resolve a vector in its rectangular components. That will be the horizontal and vertical components. Here in these problems, we have just been given 218 centimeter at 310 degree to the horizontal. That's it. What does this mean? This is the magnitude. This is the degrees. So we can draw a rough vector here. Imagine this is the coordinate. To the horizontal 310 degrees so you need to start from here how you take a angle in a protractor the same way we start over here it goes on 180 this is 270 310 somewhere over here and then you need to draw 218 line this is equivalent to 8 times 2 is 16 plus 1 will be 17 by 8 that is about 2 point you know 2 point less than 1 I'll take it as 2.1 Let's draw a line which is about 2.1 centimeters long and the angle is 310 degrees. This is the figure and if we have to resolve this into the horizontal components, it will be this uh, horizontal component and this is the vertical component. And these are given by the magnitude times sine theta over here magnitude times cos theta. You must always remember the y, the vertical component has sine, the horizontal component has cosine. Now we can just use our calculators and find it out. In your calculator, you can type 218 directly as well. So what you need to do is, if you use this symbol, it won't work. Don't put two outside and one by eight, that is wrong. You need to press shift and this fraction symbol and you can type it 218, so one by eight. And that is 17 by 8 as we got. It's uh, just over 2.1. This multiplied by cosine theta. What is the angle? 310. And this is the answer. That is the horizontal component. 1.36. Let's just check the answer. You can just look into the options and see how many digits are there after decimal and round it off accordingly. Here we have 1.37. That is the horizontal axis x. And what about the y? All you need to do is change this cosine to sine and you will get the answer that is negative 1.63 but we don't write the negative sign because this is a distance what does the negative sign indicate it's going downwards you can see here as is almost accurate but it's not to the scale even this is not to the scale this is x this is y isn't it here y is going downwards x is to the right so this is always positive you'll get in the calculator this would be minus but we don't write negative sign take them as it is only the values magnitude of them that's how we easily solve it up you can try this by yourselves only important thing over here is this north 49 degree east what does that mean we should know how to draw north south east and west north is always the upper direction south is down east is to the right and west is to the left now here when they tell you north 49 degree east n stands for north and e stands for east so you need to start from the north and draw 49 degrees from here towards the east so this much would be 90 that's somewhere in the middle so that's how we draw it and then we know the magnitude over here is 1.5 now we can easily find the vertical and the horizontal component here when you do it in the calculator both will be positive itself why because it's in the right and up both are plus and plus that's how we can do this please try the other problems by yourselves here it is from southwest so we know just now we saw from south to the left side that will be the west you can see here from the south to the west 78 degrees all you need to do is put 3.2 cosine 78 you'll get the x that's this answer and 3.2 sine 78 will give you this answer they have also mentioned the units because it's a given in the question it's 3.2 centimeters per hour so it's centimeters per hour here it's centimeters per minute sadly it's wrong here it should be centimeters per minute not inches According to what's unit given in the question, please write it accordingly. You have to just choose the correct answer so it's much easier in this. Now here we have bearing of 255 degrees. They did not mention north, south, anything. If it's just bearing, if this word is mentioned, 
you always start from the north so north over here let's start 255 degrees it will be this much 180 if you touch this axis it will be 270 so somewhere over here and then draw the line that is how we do it here we have a real life situation for a goal attempt a ball is kicked with the velocity shown in the diagram draw a diagram that shows the resolution of this force into its rec rectangular components now rectangular means vertical and the horizontal component let's write the magnitude over here given this is 90 feet per second and then we have an angle of 30 degrees now you need to see, this would be the this is the horizontal x the vertical y that's it and the formulas are given by to find the magnitudes you have to just use y is equal to v is this 90 over here the force now we always take the magnitude of this magnitude in the sense this will always be positive but if it is any other sign you ought to just take the magnitude make it positive itself then we have sine theta will be 90 sine 30 degrees and x is v cos theta this is the formula just put the values over here just like what we did in the previous problems you will get the answers these are the answers and another similar problem here they have already given the figure so it's very simple you have to just draw a vector what we just now did draw this diagram and then find the values that would be for x it is 190 cosine 33 degrees and for y it is 190 sine 33 degrees now here there is another interesting question rana and sally are pulling a wagon full of plants each person pulls the wagon with equal force at an angle of 30 degrees with the axis of the wagon. The resultant force is 120 newtons. Now, what is the resultant force? The resultant is this force, basically, 120 newton. Now, what happens is, imagine you're pushing something in this direction, okay? You're pushing this wagon, but the wheels are aligned towards the horizontal. It'll move towards the front, right? So the resultant is always this force. Now you will be putting more force initially, might be you are putting say 100 newtons, but the entire force won't be converted to work done, it will be less. So that is what we need to solve for, how much force they are exerting, see how much force each person is exerting. We know the resultant, what is happening over here is 120 newtons. So each person is putting, uh, each person's resultant would be 60 and 60. You can just divide by 2 because there are 2 people. Now we need to find for each person, not for both. You can find for both, find the answer and then divide by 2, that's fine. But here remember, this is the horizontal. So x is equal to v cos theta. The x is always related to cosine function. Let's substitute what we know. We know this 120 Newton is basically the resultant. That's this X value, 120. And what do we want is the force. See, the force is to be found out. This one over here will be the, uh, instead of uh, F, I've written B, but that is right over here, F, unknown value, cosine. The angle is given 30 degrees. Even over here, 30 degrees, so we can just use the same. And now, otherwise you can just divide this by 2 and solve it. If you solve it up in the calculator, we will get one answer for F. Let's do it. Here we need to take cosine 30 to the other side. It will be 120 divided by cosine. So it's cosine 30 degrees. And this is the answer. It's 138.56. This answer is basically the force exerted by Rana and Sally together. But we need for single person, each person that's divided by 2, that is 69.28. So that's the answer. And what about the next one? If each person exerts a force of 75 newtons, so each person is exerting this F value is 75 newton, what is the resultant? Now here 75 into cos 30. But this is just the resultant of one person's force. We need to do this into 2. Why? Because there are 2 people. F is given to be 75, but there are 2 Fs. So into 2. Now this is the correct answer. It's 129.9, 130 Newton. And lastly, we have 
How will the result in force be affected if Rana and Sally move closer together? Now look here, they are far apart, so much of their force is wasted, it's not converted to re result in. As you reduce this angle, if they are coming closer, the result in will be more. If you are pulling something straight, you are pulling from here, it's going to uh, affect more. Rather than you pull towards the side, both of them are uh, pulling towards side, the result in will reduce. So that is one thing. Otherwise, what you can just do over here is, I will change this to a lower degree. So let me make it 20. Now what happened? It started increasing. The resultant is increasing. So this is how you can tell. Resultant starts increasing. So this is that. It would be greater basically. And we got over here 129.9. It's 130. And over here we got 69 point something. But it's rounded off to a whole number. So it's 69 newtons. That's how we solve these problems. And that's the end of this. Please do solve all these problems by yourselves, understand the question properly, read through it and from the given you can easily solve them up.